Welcome to FET Simulation Integration Lesson 1. My name is Sarah English, and today we're going to be talking about simulation overview in creating a teacher account. So let's start off by talking about what is FET. And originally, FET stood for Physics Educational Technology. Now it is so much more than just physics. The site itself contains over 100 interactive simulations. It includes physics, chemistry, earth science, biology, and math. And most importantly, it is free. How do we use FET in the classroom? Personally, I like using it for laboratory activities. Sometimes I use the simulations during class to animate a concept. I have embedded videos into flipped classroom lectures because FET allows you to do that. I use it to help reinforce a concept or extend understanding by using the simulations. And finally, I have used it for inquiry-based learning. FET is very flexible. If you run the simulations on your desktop or laptop, some of the simulations are going to require Java, as we can see the symbols here for Java and Flash. Most will run on PC, Mac, and Linux systems. They can be downloaded, embedded, or played directly. You can also start a simulation on your tablet. The new HTML5 synths can run on iPads, Chromebooks, and other devices. FET is constantly updating their simulations and trying to flip some of them over to HTML5 so they can be used on these types of devices. Now we're going to move on to navigating the FET website and creating a teacher's account. So here we are at Google and I am going to type in FET and FET simulations come right up. Then I'm going to click on New Sims FET simulations, and here I am at the FET homepage. We have a list of the simulations. We will be talking about the teaching resources as we go through this course. What I'm gonna focus on here is registration. My suggestion to you is to start out by registering on the FET website. So if we select register, and you are going to put in your email and then confirm and then create a password. Mine has self-filled. Fill out all the information that they require for you so you can get access to the teacher resources. And you will need to register on the FET website in order to do the rest of the course. Now I'm back on the FET homepage, so I am going to sign in since I'm already registered. My email and password has already self-filled, so I'm going to select sign in. And here I am. The homework for this particular section that goes along with this lesson is taking a picture of your login email right here and submitting it. Now that you have created a teacher account, let's explore the site. Let's go to play with simulations. And again, what I want to do is point out the HTML5 icon right here. And if you scroll through, you can see all the current HTML5 simulations that are available to us. So that means when you click on any of these, you can see all the new labels on them. They will automatically load on the kids' iPads, which is great for us. So they're not Java, they're not Flash. So something to look through. I'm going to move on and click on Chemistry. And then I'm going to go to General Chemistry. And the last thing that I want to point out in this tutorial is just the different types of symbols that you're going to see with the simulations. Any of these can be run on a desktop or a laptop if you have Java and Flash enabled. Anything with this 5 right here means again that it's HTML5 and you can run it on your iPad with no problem. Remember that this coffee cup right here represents Java and finally the F down here represents Flash, and those will not be able to be run on the iPad. So that's a general overview of the FET simulation site and how to log in and create a teacher's account.